All right, guys, welcome back to another episode here on Grow the Earth. I thought today was going to be a very different video whenever I, whenever we came across this idea. And this is more of a lesson on you can't believe everything that you read on the Internet because even people that have blogs and have videos don't necessarily know everything, and those things can sometimes turn out to be false. I know we've all run across those TikToks of, People cutting off the top of carrots and planting them in the ground and saying, oh, this will grow a new carrot. Well, us that have grown carrots know that that's not correct. But what I'm bringing to you today is actually a video on testing your seeds. Now, if you're a gardener and you've been in this game any amount of time, you've got seed packets. That are, some of them are going on five, six years old sometimes, depending on the size of your garden and how many of that particular variety of seed that you're planting out. Now, we all know, we've all read online, and it, it seems to be about true is as your seeds age, they're gonna lose viability. And most people will tell you that after about two or three years, your viability starts dropping down in percentage wise. I mean, all seeds are gonna be viable. They're gonna have some viability in them, but you're going to have a higher chance of those seeds not propagating. So what we came across on the internet is called floating. And what these people were saying is that you take a simple glass of water, now I've got a small plastic cup here, and you take your seeds and you would put these into the water and if they floated then that meant that they were not viable seeds, if they sank they were viable. Now in our garden, of course, we don't have a large garden. It's large compared to some people's size of their gardens, but it's not large to where we're gonna run through, you know, I believe there's prox there's 50 seeds in this. We're not gonna plant 50 cantaloupe seeds every year or every two years or every three years for that matter. You know, we had quite a few of these left over and we tried this method and come to find out well, that would explain why we were having bad germination rates because almost every one of these seeds floated. But I'm here to tell you that that is false, entirely false, because I was ready to float all of our seeds and throw out the ones that weren't viable according to this internet site and actually quite a few different uh, videos we'd run across of people doing this very exact thing because we went and actually my wife was saying, well, let's test the way that you're, that you're always told to check propagation is taking your seeds and putting them on a wet paper towel and sprouting them in a, you know, just sprouting the seeds in a, in a small little plastic bag. We did that. And these seeds that all floated, about a half of them actually germinated in the way that we've been told to check germination for quite a few years. So, I'm gonna tell you, just because you read it on the internet, just because you see somebody that, you know, maybe even someone that you've been following on YouTube for a while, someone you may trust, doesn't necessarily make it true. Because we, as gardeners, all have different experiences with certain things. Um, you know, I go back to what I say, that there's certain vegetables that we don't grow in our garden because we have very horrible luck with growing them and, you know, if you're basing your experiences on somebody else's, you're probably going to be doing yourself a disservice by not growing something that I don't grow because I have a hard time with it. So just because I can't grow something doesn't mean that you can't. And just because you can't grow something doesn't mean that I can't. So what I'm, what I'm basically saying is don't believe everything you read on the Internet. Don't take it as truth. Do a scientific method. You know, test out that method and just don't believe everything you read on the internet. These people, there are certain people that will get on the internet, make a video, make a short, make a TikTok, and it's complete and utter trash. So guys, floating your seeds, an absolute horrible idea. I almost think it was developed, you know, it was thought up by, by seed companies to sell you more seeds. So if you have any questions as to whether or not your seeds are viable, 
then do the old tried and true method. Get you a Ziploc bag, a wet paper towel, put your seeds on it, and see if they'll germinate. That's the only way that I have found that's going to be a true method as to way whether or not your seeds are good. Because this method that I found that I was actually very, very excited about is it's bunk. It's not it's not a good method. It actually I probably threw away a couple of uh, packages full of seeds because none of them none of them sank. So you know, I was looking at wasting, you know, not a ton of money, but enough money, you know, everything counts in this economy. And all because I was ready to believe something that I had read on the internet or seen on the internet versus testing it against methods I know that work. So guys, as always, a thank you for joining me today. Subscribe, like, do all those things. Tell your friends, tell your, your family to watch me. I appreciate everything. You guys have a great day.